Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how to take advantage of live activities on your iPhone. And now live activities is a new feature on the iPhone that allows you to track things that are happening in real time. Maybe a food delivery service, ride sharing, a live sports event, a workout, whatever it is, you can actually track it in real time on the lock screen of your iPhone. Now this will work with any iPhone that supports iOS 16.1 or newer and I'm gonna show you how to enable this new feature on your iPhone once you're running iOS 16.1. Now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now live activities is enabled by default here in settings if we go into settings here and we go into face ID and passcodes when you enter your passcode running iOS 16.1 or newer you can go into your lock screen options right here and you'll find the live activities toggle. Now this live activity is the default option for Apple applications for example a live activity can also be a timer right because you can track this in real time directly from the lock screen right there you can pause it or end it right there so that's considered a live activity. So let's go ahead and cancel that here. Uh, also, music can be considered a live activity, right? Because you can play some music here on the lock screen of your iPhone. And once you play music, you can interact with it directly from the lock screen, making this a live activity. So that particular option under Face ID and Passcode controls these types of live activities for your iPhone. However, Apple has also enabled this for third-party applications. So maybe Uber, Starbucks, things like that, live sports events, ESPN to keep track of sports, maybe a workout on the fitness application you'll be able to actually enable these options for these particular applications as well so this particular feature can be found under settings and then once you download the application that you want I'm just going to use the TV app here for example you see the TV app here I can actually watch live baseball Friday nights on the Apple TV app so I can go into the settings here and I find the live activities toggle right there third-party applications will also have this toggle so if you download let's say uber for example on your iPhone running 16.1 or newer you can go into the uber options and enable live activities and that way you can track your ride sharing service right directly from the lock screen of iphone and the same thing applies for any app that supports the live activities feature on your iphone so again live activities will be coming to any iphone that supports 16.1 or newer and all applications can be enabled directly within the notifications options in settings and if you don't want the live activities on your iPhone you can also disable that as I mentioned under face ID and passcode and a live activities options directly from there and there you guys have it just a really quick video on live activities which should be hitting your iPhone here shortly with iOS 16.1 let me know what you think about live activities on iOS 16 thank you for watching guys I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one peace